the hello goodbye window um, didn't really emerge as a story idea. In fact, it uh, worried me when, when I got through with it because I said, this is not a story. It has no real plot. It has no conflict. It has, it's not a quest for anything. It has no real a action in it. It's just me observing my granddaughter. Uh, my daughter's a single parent, so we do a lot of backstopping and we live near each other in where we live in Amherst. And uh, she comes over at least one night a week because my daughter's been going to night school and whatever class night uh, each term is, that's the night she stays over so Emily can get herself together and do what she has to do. And uh, you'd, I would just see a lot of her. And of course, the, ma the major area where we were in is always in you know, a kitchen. It was a very big kitchen and it had this window out to the garden. And after a while, I, I just began to notice all these things that she did or the way she reacted to things. And I just started to make you know, some little notes about it and pull them together. And uh, I, f I finished the story. And I remember I have, I have at home now another of my little folders with, I think, it's 16 rejection letters on that story. Uh, and every author, I think, has a story like that where you, and um, people saying no, saying a lot of the things I said. It wasn't a story. It didn't do this. It didn't do that. And it wasn't. It was just a little slice of a piece of life. And, uh, and it worked, you know, for me. But you never know when you do a story, you know, if it works for you. I thought, no one's going to like the dot in the line. It's just my little joke. And uh, I was very uneasy when, when I brought it in because for, the, for that same reason also. And then I've done things I thought, this is, everybody's going to love this, and everybody hasn't loved it. So you just don't know. But I loved, I loved that piece of, for, for many reasons. So for one, because it was my granddaughter, and two, because it was a kind of a little lesson for me that there was enough, I don't know what you want, how you can describe it, was enough thing that almost anybody identifies with if they have children or around children or know anything about them. So, and I think that, that was the nerve it touched, so that's why it's going to hang around for a while. And of course, the illustrations there are incredible. You know, Chris Raschke, you know, he won the Caldecott for it, and, and they're absolutely beautiful, and he was a completely fearless. I've never seen an, an illustrator that would work in 18 different mediums. I mean, he, everything he could grab, he worked, whether it was pencil and pen and charcoal, and he would scratch with something and then put watercolors on it. But it comes out and they, they just leap off the page at you. So.